Today I'm gonna to show you a casserole. I call it the ranch hand casserole. It's great for breakfast. It's also great for supper too. Let's get started. Take 32 ounces of tater tots and find you either a large baking dish or a pan or something that's greased. Spread them out in it. It needs to be big enough to let them spread out. We're gonna bake them on 400 for 15 minutes. Now cook about 12 ounces of bacon. When your bacon gets done, pull it out and set it to the side. Now add a small diced onion, four ounce can of hatch green chilies, one pound of whatever breakfast sausage you like. It's gonna break this all up and cook it until the meat is cooked through. Okay, the meat is cooked and the onion is soft. Now we're gonna add one teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of black pepper. Now we're gonna slowly add in one third cup of all purpose flour. Just want to get this incorporated really well and let it cook a couple minutes. This has been cooking a few minutes. You just want to get that raw flour taste out of it. Now we're going to slowly start adding in two cups of half and half. Slowly. You can use milk if you don't have any half and half. You just want to bring this up to a simmer, stirring continuously, and let it thicken up a little bit. If it gets too thick on you, add a little bit more milk or half and half. Okay, mine's been bubbling around or simmering for about three or four minutes. This is the consistency that I like mine. In a greased oven safe dish, pour in your gravy. This is a nine by 13. We're gonna spread it out evenly. Cover this with whatever cheese that you like evenly. It's probably gonna take about five or six ounces to cover it. Now place your tater tots that you pre-cooked on here in a single layer on top of the cheese. Okay, in my blender bottle, I've got six eggs. I'm gonna hit just a splash of half and half. I'm gonna shake just a little bit of black pepper in there with it. And drop in the ball. Just shake it up. Evenly pour these eggs all around. Now come back and add you a little bit more cheese on top of this, ever how much you want. It goes back in the oven on 350 for 35 minutes. Here it is out of the oven. Now take that bacon you cooked earlier, crumble it up and sprinkle it all around. If you like it, add you a little bit of fresh green onion. All right, here it is. That's what it looks like. Y'all know all we need now is a little bit of Zippy Zap on there. The pre-order link is on my bio page now for the Zippy Zap, but the shipping will not start till February 1st. Oh, that smells good, I know that.